Hi there, Rene Rubelkaber from Odonet, and I just want to do a quick follow-up video to the video I did on um, using the ArcGIS API for TypeScript definition files and your development. Uh, after a couple questions, talking to a couple of people, there there was an awful lot of material covered in just a span of like 15 or 20 minutes, and and things that I kind of glossed over. Uh, for one thing, I really did kind of gloss over um, the TSLint. Uh, .json file, and if you're if you've done any sort of development with um, JS Hint or any other linting tools at all, that's essentially what JS uh, I'm sorry, what TS Lint is doing for us. It's um, uh, a set of uh, rules that we've set up for our TypeScript files and the TypeScript development that will go ahead and just ba do some basic things. It'll uh, check the formatting, check for spacing, uh, make sure that you know, um, you're using spacing between uh, brackets of some sort if you define that. And you can get, uh, you know, go to the TSLint uh, website and get more information about that. So you can go ahead and lint your files and you'll get more details there. And it's a good idea to have this just so you can have some basic things in your TypeScript uh, files and rules set up, especially if you're working with a team of people and want to make sure that everyone's writing code in a very similar way. So I just want to point that out. Uh, again, I'm not going to go into detail on everything I get here. I think I borrowed a lot of these from the uh, SitePen uh, stuff that they've got going. Plus, I found a couple other things and places to help out. That's one thing you could do here. Uh, the grunt file itself, I had talked about the fact that this can go ahead and uh, update your TS config file for you. And uh, what I'm doing here in the grunt files, I, I'm grabbing my TS config I've already got set up. I'm watching for these um, glob files here of uh, TypeScript definition files to change, and then I'm going to go ahead and output them into my um, for the compiler to be able to use. And what that's going to do is every time I add a a TypeScript file to my application, it's going to go ahead and add that file into this files array here of my tsconfig. All right, and okay, so this the tsconfig. I've, I've talked a bit about this before uh, with the TypeScript tacos videos, but basically the tsconfig will let you go ahead and uh, define how the TypeScript is going to get compiled. So in our case, we want to use AMD, so it's going to compile out AMD modules. Uh, you can set up for, you can see here, CommonJS, uh, System UMD, or uh, just straight to ES6 as well. Um, no implicit any's, so basically uh, don't let, uh, I have to not type anything as any. Don't let the compiler think that I've just got any types in here. All right, uh, no remove comments, and I want source maps. Uh, I'm doing React here, so I do have JSX in here. And I want to target out to ES5. I could go ahead and target out to ES3 uh, as well if I wanted to, but we're not going to. We're just, we want to target ES5 for what we're doing here. All right. So and then there's some other ones in here. Uh, we're allowing some experimental uh, stuff to happen, which isn't a big deal. All right. So the other thing. So let's get down to the actual um, TypeScript definition files for the ArcGIS API. Right. So uh, one thing you, you notice here, I've got this underscore underscore Esri namespace, right? And this is coming from the TypeScript de definition files. And I can actually set this up. If you start tapping into, say, Visual Studio Code, you'll get, see, we have a namespace here. You said dot, and now you're going to get all of the different um, typings that are available in the ArcGIS API for uh, TypeScript definition files, right? So I, I can pick any one of these, I'll click extent, and um, that's how I can start typing things out. In this case, for my coordinates, I do want to use point. So this is one way you can do it. This isn't the only way. I could actually go in here, and I could say import. And I'm going to use a star syntax here because I started uh, using that for some stuff. So from Esri geometry, I believe, point. If I can spell, right? All right, so now I've imported the point. And it's going to change this here, like so. And give me one second here. Let me go ahead and compile this out. I am currently off the screen here, running my compiler. 
Okay, so what I've done here is I've actually brought in the module point, the module itself from the um, ArcGIS API for JavaScript. All right, I brought in the actual module. And one thing you can do is you can do this. You can bring in the modules, and same for this map view. Let's go and do this one too. So let's import as map view from Esri views map view. And instead of using the uh, global namespace that's provided by the TypeScript definition file, we'll use the actual module itself. Right, so you're doing this, you might think, Oh, well, why would I do this? Because now I'm going to be importing uh, these two modules into my JavaScript code when it gets compiled. I don't really need them. Um, the TypeScript compiler is smart enough to know what to do, uh, blah blah blah. Because when you are uh, compiling this to JavaScript, remember too, it does not compile interfaces, so any interfaces you have to find don't get turned into JavaScript, they are just here for the compiler to uh, do its checking. So if we look at the output JavaScript code, all right, and we look at what the uh, we have in our define and function method here, we do not have point, and we do not have map view, and the TypeScript compiler is smart enough to know that when we are using those in our TypeScript code, that we did not actually uh, initialize them, that we're just using them to type things, and it'll go ahead and let us do that, which is fine, and it's perfectly valid for you to be able to do that in your TypeScript code. So I just want to point that out that uh, you can use it that way or you can go ahead and you can use the uh, global Esri namespace provided um, by the TypeScript definition files under underscore underscore Esri. And you see that, that we also, for the case we put React in here, you get the same stuff from React, right? So we do uh, React uh, dot stuff and now we have all of the uh, React typings available for us for working with React code as well. So it's all very similar. These are the ambient typings, uh, TypeScript files that we have available for us. There's multiple ways for you to you know, use those. So you can use the global namespace them, or you can just use them to uh, for the TypeScript compiler itself to be able to do its job. All right, and I hope that helps you out. Thank you.